let's talk overhead press. So uh, when we get overhead, we wanna make sure, just like every joint in our body, that we do it in three planes. I used to make the same mistake, so I, I, it would be a hypocritical for me to just tear up all the people in the gym realizing that I didn't used to do it myself, but I want you to look at all the different positions that I'm pressing overhead, which is again, normal movement of the body, anterior to the front, posterior to the back. And then look at these stinking machines, robotic movement, people, right? Let's just go here. Let's just look at what most people are doing um, in the gym. And they're only doing one movement that I'm gonna show you today, which is gonna be six, right? And if you want full development, which most people, right, they're training usually for aesthetic reasons, instead of training like a, for performance reasons, which is gonna be way better. So they train muscle instead of movement. If you wanna train movement, okay? And three planes. And what it's gonna get you is a better look to your shoulders and everything. It's gonna hit everything the way it should be hit, okay? And then you're not gonna have any weaknesses. And wonder why you have shoulder problems because you're so strong just pressing it in one area. But when you go back to do something else, you wonder why a snap, crackle, pop, right? And your scapula is not moving the way it should be. It should be freely moving. Not pressed up against a, 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 a bench and, and then your military pressing and that scapula is in a fixed position. It moves, look at that, ooh, ooh, look at that. Freedom in movement, right? To be able to express, that's what Bruce Lee talks about, the body, the way it should be expressed. And it's crazy because most people will look at me and see me doing this and they, I've had them, they'll tap me up. Are you training MMA? Are you a Kung Fu guy? No. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just getting over bronchitis is what I'm getting over. But anyways, I'm training in three planes, I'll tell them. And they'll look at me and just be like, I, I don't understand, right? So let me help you understand. So, um, Let's just grab a, deep, a dumbbell here, okay? And so let's go uh, sagittal plane, which is front to back, right? Anterior, posterior. Now I can press right over my head, but for time reasons, right? If like going over my head, I'm gonna hit that same thing if I uh, am hitting the, the end range of mo motions, if that makes sense, right? So if I'm just pressing over my head, that, right? But if I go here and here, I I'm getting that too, okay? Um, and of course, yeah, you wanna make sure that you do a couple presses there, but again, for time reasons, I really don't myself because I know I'm getting it in. Um, so my hand is my driver of my, of my body. That means I can move my whole body with just my hand. Do you see that, what that's, that's doing? All I'm doing is rotating my wrist, supinating and pronating and, and watch what it's doing to my whole body. It's a hand, your hand driver, okay? And so, and especially for pushing, karate, boxing, they, like that snap in your hand. So when I have my dumbbell, right, I'm gonna, so that would be pronation of my hand. And then watch what, all I'm doing is at my hand and watch what it does with my whole body from my feet all the way up. I'm getting a full body workout. Get off your butt. If not in a wheelchair, why are you sitting doing pressing movements? Time is your, your, your most valuable resource. Stop wasting it, right? So, all right, why, look at my feet. All I'm doing, like, I'm just doing this with my hand right now, right? So I'm gonna press in front, and then I'm, I'm supinating, which means my palm, I'm, to, I'm pouring the water out of my hand to the outside, as I go back, right? And people are like, oh, your, your, your arms are, should, shouldn't be doing that. Poor shit, that's natural movement. If your scapula and your shoulders complex is messed up to begin with, hell no, don't bring it back behind you. But if you have no issues, you should be, that you should press behind you. Now I wouldn't go crazy with like 80 pounds or something like that, but I bet if you progress it, and you'll probably see me up there, right? But right now, I'm probably about 30 pounds. I go five reps, right? Just when you wanna listen to your body. 
Okay, so there's two presses right there, right? So that's gonna hit this and that back part of that shoulder complex. Okay, so I'll just show you a couple. So front to back, right? Sagittal plane, frontal plane, side to side, side to side. So again, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pronating my hand as I punch out, and then when I go out of my body, I'm suffocating. Okay, and watch how it just opens up my body and I suffocate, right? When I pronate, it's that back, you're punching. So side to side. Look at my, look what just did to my foot, right? Top to bottom, man. From the head top to the tail. Everything's connected. Here, right here. Side, side. Right, so I just showed you one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we gotta get the transverse plane, the most important plane, especially when it comes to athletic performance, human performance, and it's the most neglected. Ain't nobody doing rotational pressing or pulling. So, rotational wise, so, like I'm twisting, all right? And it, it, and, and two, you wanna, I don't wanna throw too much at, I'm making this video simple, is you wanna tie these with your lunge matrix, your lunge, your, your 3D lunges, your 3D, your squats, right? Coming up from your squats. So really tie the legs in with it. But you can see how it's just tying my legs in with it of getting that rotational aspect. And this is huge for baseball players, tennis ball players, volleyball players who, who are striking things or throwing things and it open getting that hip in, involved, right? So rotational, coming across, right? Anterior, posterior, behind you. So I'll just from the side, so you can see. Hey, got a, got a Christmas gift early this year. Merry Christmas. Throw that in your repertoire. Who cares what people, are you practicing Kung Fu? Are you a ninja? She, she said, hell yeah I am, right? And then put your earbuds back on and take care of business and stop worrying about what other people think. All right? Six positions. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I bet you're only doing one. I'm beating you. My athletes are gonna beat you. I should, maybe, maybe I should keep this quiet. Right, so that my athletes will just start absolutely destroying people. But that's not me. I love sharing good information and helping people. And if you have any comments on this stuff, any questioning, namaste, y'all.